Hi, my name is Hunter Lindley, and I'm a solutions engineer at Checkmarks. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the implementation of scanning best practices. When talking about implementing scanning best practices, a lot of times this is more of what organizations are thinking about is maybe rule sets or what is running behind the scenes of the engine. Um, so we covered the basics, right, that you need to be good at. Well, this is that aspect of what rules are running, what file, you know, what files are we including? What are we excluding? This will be in your rules of your project. So here, I just want to focus mainly on these bottom three, just as an example. So one, one way you can really help implement best practices within your organization is from understanding, hey, maybe we don't need to scan these specific files or artifacts that have been generated. Um, maybe we only want to include this, these files. So there's different ways to only look at what you want to look at, which can help speed up a scan, um, can help you, you know, understand what you're going to be looking at, just overall increasing the fidelity of results, right? We can also look at preset names, which is going to be our rule sets that, that are scanning, that our engines are scanning with. So for example, here's a, a SAST rule with the preset name ASA Premium. So ASA Premium is when check marks is generated, but this is another way that we can really target what we want to look at, right, from a vulnerability perspective. So for example, maybe this was an Android application. I could come in and select the Android um, preset. So we have different presets based upon your needs. And generally from a rule of thumb perspective, it is best to focus smaller and then expand your scope. Now, organizationally, that's going to be a decision on your end, but that is a very strong practice to, to implement. And then finally, from this pane, we are able to look at recommended exclusions. So that's something Checkmarks has put out where we're able to say, hey, from our knowledge base, from the years we've been doing this, what are areas that we can ex maybe exclude some files, some folders that we don't need to look at, and we can implement recommended exclusions as well. It can also help speed up your scan time, um, increase result fidelity. So again, a lot of these are built out of the box and we also allow for customization that we can talk about it in another time. Finally, when implementing best practices, you need to make sure you're integrated throughout your SDLC and especially where it makes sense. So again, we can integrate the uh, GitHub Actions, we can integrate in your pipelines and we can integrate at the SCM level. Um, so just to make sure that when you're doing this, you're integrating early and often to make sure that we're at each phase of your SDLC to help not only secure your environment, but make it easier to manage by finding vulnerabilities early. And that's how you implement scanning best practices within the Checkmarks One platform. If you like this, we have a lot more videos on how to work with Checkmarks on our YouTube channel. Check out the link in the description for more.